Hello friends, Brian here. Thanks for your concern about my health. I really appreciate it. Uh, about a couple weeks ago, two and a half to be exact, I picked up a cold. kind of comes with the territory when you have young children and they're around other young children. Um, it was The cold was pretty bad. It ravaged my vocal cords. And on Saturday, I shot a couple of videos. But those were, as they say, the show must go on. Um, since then, I've taken a few days off and rested up. I feel much better now. I'm starting to get my voice back. Um, but I guess one of the things about having a um, pretty messed up vocal cord from a cold is you can sing certain types of songs, especially when your normal vocal cords or when your normal voice isn't designed for singing. So I'd like to sing a chorus for you. Um, at I hope you get a laugh at uh, my uh, expense here. And apologies in advance if uh, blood starts to come out from your ears. So here we go. Um, it's a song by Rod Stewart. And Rod Stewart is a famous singer and his raspy voice is uh, something that's unique to him. I hope he doesn't mind me saying that his voice is raspy. So here we go. Have I told you, you lately, that I love you? Have I told you? There's no one else above you. You fill my heart with gladness. Take away all my sadness. Ease my troubles. That's what you do. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoy the video where we do round three of the green onions. Ishikara Long Winter versus Tokyo Long White. The battle to see which onion is the faster growing of the two. Well, it looks like in round three, as referee, I'm going to have to call the match and declare Ishikara Long Winter winner by technical knockout. It's gotten pretty tall and it's grown quite uh, quickly. It's one that I'm really enjoying uh, both in the kitchen and out here uh, in the garden. Um, today, I'll also be thinning some of the Ishikora long winter out. I will be using it in a dish this weekend. And then we'll mound them and let them grow some more so we can see what they turn into later on. And I'll also be showing you another way to grow green onions. Here we have our green onions in the back here are our Ishikara long winter. And in the front, we have some Tokyo Long White. And looking at the girth of the onions and also um, the height, we can say that the Ishikora Long Winter is the better growing one um, this time around. So I'll be thinning some of these guys out and, and then we'll mound it and then I'll show you how to grow on on uh, green onions. We're partially on the way there. This is how much white there is on the onion. We're gonna try to grow one that's gonna be that much onion between here and there at least. It's not necessary to thin out these onions. I'm only doing so because I'm actually going to be using them in, for, for a dish this weekend for some high non chicken. This is a good harvest of our onions. Um, you can tell how much Hainan chicken we're going to make. My brother's going to make us a good amount of Hainan chicken. And what I like about Hainan chicken is the green um, onion condiment. And I especially like the white portion. It's nice and crunchy and sweet. And then we have the green portion that gives it the, the uh, aromatic flavor. So in, in a Hainan chicken dish, uh, mounting your onions and getting a good amount of the white part will make it really tasty. So I'm going to send this over to my brothers. Um, and then as far as growing green onions, we saw last time uh, starting them in cells and then direct sowing. If you harvest your onions and you use it in the kitchen or you buy some green onions from the store, onion, green onions and onions in general grow like weeds. They don't need much to start 
uh, into, uh, they don't need much to grow into a new plant. So uh, you can start with as little as, as this to grow your plant into. So we don't need all these roots here. You can tear it off or chop it off and then you put it in the ground. We'll put them in the middle here and we'll show you guys next time what he turns into. Here's our harvest of green onions this morning. I'll be sending them over to my brother. He'll be making a bunch of Hainan chicken for us. The green onions, when we mound it this way, is, is perfect for Hainan chicken. I like, I like a lot of the white portions of the onion in the, um, in the condiment that this green onion will be turned into. And then we still have a lot of the green, where, green parts where the aromatics come from. So um, yeah, I think it's a good trade. Green onions for Hainan chicken, can't beat that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. In my haste to shoot the video and then get breakfast for my wife, I forgot to mound up our onions. So I'm coming back to, to do the mounding. Um, let's, let's go and dig out our, where's our onion that we just planted earlier? There it is. Gonna, we'll replant it after we mound these onions back up. Okay, once again, our little onion portion where the root is, and it doesn't take much to get a new plant out of this. You can even get a little tiny sliver, as thin as you can get, and it'll grow into an onion plant. So these guys are really easy to grow, and grow like weeds. Hainan chicken is a simple chicken and rice dish that originated in China's Hainan province. It flew the coop and took a short flight into Southeast Asia. There, it received a steamy reception. As a widely cooked dish, many adaptations exist. One of the more famous adaptations can be found in Portland, Oregon at Nong Skaomangai. Whether you're waiting for chicken on a sidewalk or in a restaurant, you can expect to find unadulterated skin on chicken over fluffy full flavored rice. Variations take form in accompanied sauce, condiment, and type of chicken used. I prefer it with a ginger and scallion condiment. Depending on the cook, you may find one of two types of chicken on your plate. In the United States, many are familiar with the commercially available fryer chicken. This chicken is meaty and tender. This is the chicken I prefer. The other true to dish type of chicken is a free ranging chicken that is mainly skin and bone. While less meatier, the chicken flavor is more pronounced.